There we go. Oh, it's here, boys. Okay, not Germany. Where's the American ones? Okay, all right, let's go. Let's log in, see what's up. I should have my omelet with me. First 10 points already for opening this up. So, unlike last time where I didn't focus as much on unlocking relics, this time I'm gonna definitely uh, unlock relics. I'm gonna try to rush all the way to like tier six. Karamja is uh, guaranteed unlock, so there's no penalty. We're gonna go to the veteran worlds because I, I unlocked dragon rank last time. All right, it was really hard to find this guy. I'm gonna claim my pets from last league and it's my omelet, baby. Hey, we got our boy back, nice. So for this league, I get to do a lot more bossing than last league. So I am thinking about creating myself a mini progression series, like, you know, a normal Ironman where you start off with like lower level bosses and stuff and gradually you get better gain stats and you move on to harder and harder bosses. So I've created myself a nice a list of bosses I want to hit up with the three regions that you know I can choose and we're gonna start off with barrels so in this episode we're gonna be doing a lot of barrels progression uh, unlocking more Tania and yeah getting to barrels as soon as I can so you'll see in the picture kind of like the rough idea of my progression so from top to bottom and then left to right is the order if you guys wish to know the reasoning behind why I picked my regions and relics and whatnot, feel free to ask me on my Twitch at twitch.tv slash ricecup. It's a bit too long and complicated, so it, I don't think it fits well on the prize video, so. Oh uh, yes, we're gonna get ourselves some Iron Man armor. I saw some dude uh, roaming around with it, so it's worth it, because look at this, man. You get some, you get some good stats. Get some uh, good stats, 40 defense overall. And you don't have to worry about, you know, weight and stuff because you have a limited run, so. Yay, there we go. Here's a cool trick that I learned from the boys. There should be some points for this. Yes, easy 10 points. There's a little teleport thing in this menu here, so. Pog, that's really nice. Yeah, we're gonna go now and uh, buy ourselves some feathers, a fishing rod in the area, and uh, yeah, just try our fishing and cooking, get some good food. So yeah, let's go buy a fly fishing rod and buy some feathers and yeah, do some fishing. Oh, catching a sham salmon is 50 points. Wait, should I be able to uh, unlock a new relic? Oh, hey, we're already there. Let's go, man. Let's freaking go. All right, we're going to unlock this. Wait, what? Here we go. Confirm. Last recall. Yes! Alright guys. We just had to keep uh, trying. Yay, second relic. Awesome. Alright, next step, uh, you know, is unlock the barrows. Ah, there we go. Your crystal memory stores a memory. Hell yeah, let's teleport back. Can we do this? Nice, yo, this is this is very good. This is very badass. All right So it just remembers where you last teleport out of <laughs> very nice Yeah, true that okay, let's do the trick where we, where we talk to people. Yes. Oh, it's so cheap Man guys don't right-click pay fair god damn So let's get ourselves some crazy level ups here. Ho oh, ho baby so every XP that I gained after getting tier 2 is more than before because you get 5x passive to 8x passive once you unlock tier 2 relic. Alright, uh, we need some more money because uh, I'm about to train a little bit of construction for burr houses. I think it'll be really worthwhile uh, to, get, to get some burr houses done. So we're going to try to make some money off of killing uh, these ants. I'm at a really low level right now, so uh, these guys aren't going to have too much HP. Oh my god, dude. Rune Hex? Holy shit. That's insane, bro. I'm, I'm sorted, boys. Holy shit. I'm good. So yeah, let's just out this Rune Hex. I'm done here for now. Might come back later. But yeah, let's go. We're going to out it. Got some money back. Got some levels back. Chowder, give me a free task, too. Cause I, I feel, I think all Slayer Masters work the same now. Cause people got tasks from Duradil, so I should be able to get tasks from Childer. Oof, yes, sick. Awesome, yo, we can start training Slayer pretty early. 
Because I need to train my stats anyways up for barrels. So let's do it through Slur. Alrighty. Time to uh, finish the daddy's home. Honestly, though, I got inspired by Verf. He, uh, we were there crafting at some point, and he, and he kind of reminded me about the burr houses. Because now uh, we get the steel bars to, to uh, make the bird houses, and we already ha uh, have fossil un unlocked automatically. So, yeah, let's go hit up some bird houses. Build up our stats some more. Okay, that's enough money. Okay, I just cannibalized the... Uh, some nature runes. I had to low out my nature runes because the stores were only buying it for 18 GB each. Because everybody was selling the store. So I was smarter and uh, we went the kind of ballistic route. Worth it though. Now I have enough money to open up a workshop. So, workshop. 10,000 GP. Oh my goodness. This is gonna hurt, but it's worth it. It is so worth it. Okay. Here we go. Now we just gotta upgrade this to the next level. And we can make some clockwork mechanisms, right? Perfect. Now uh, I will see you at Fossil Island very soon. That's cool that you can just reopen the shop constantly to get seats very cheap. Hell yeah, that works. Great. Okay. Now let's go finally do this. Alright, let's quick travel. Make the bar, you must be the bar. I have yet to unlock myself, so... Hey, we're done! I think we can unlock our next area. Hell yeah, look at that. Right before the bar houses, too. Alright, we are gonna... I'm convinced I'm gonna YOLO it while everybody else picks uh, probably a much more uh, popular region. We're gonna go with Mauritania first, so we can help those barrows. We gotta go with that barrows. We're gonna send it. Access to Mauritania. We will be heading over to barrows here. Very, 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 very soon. Yo, this is really good. Mortania is actually a super close bank, so I can always just come back here to bank. Ah, chisel. Mm -hmm. I forget my chisel. Okay. All right, now we last recall back. Pretend that we didn't mess up at all. So, bird houses are pretty nice because I'm going to be able to get some uh, good early experience all across crafting and like construction and hunter and it'll allow me to do some uh, implings for GP in the future and also we're gonna get closer now to barrows so it's time to work on some stats mainly combat stats so I gotta do a lot of slayer uh, because if I can get 55 slayer that means I can use slayer darts which will be our main weapon for barrows Jesus I can't believe I'm already 40 hunter and I have, uh, you know, barely done anything. So nice. That was the hardest thing. Ooh, hell giants. Yo, let's go. That's a good task. Yes. Oh, another giant key. What the frick? Okay, well, okay. Uh, we definitely need to hustle and uh, get ready for this over fight, dude. Oh god. Um. What? Oh no. I thought Banshees were, were kind of rough, but Jesus. Are you seriously giving me 113 Vampires? Dude, I think that that's the end of my Slayer career for a bit. I need to upgrade my... Uh, I need to do some serious upgrading, dude. Uh, Yeah, we gotta upgrade, man. Yes, 200, bro! Oh my god. Oh, 200 in total. Wow, I earned 100 points. I think... I think that's my first uh, 100 point task. Oh, Rune Dagger! Oh, let's go, man. The final Alk of Destiny. Thank you. All right, we're gonna buy some super dope item that I didn't even realize existed. How many imps? Ah, oh, shit, I don't, oh, I can check. Okay. All right, here we go. Holy shit, it took almost double the drop rate to get one Rune. Rune Dagger. It's like a 1 in 100, but... Nice. Nice. Alright, so I was originally going to buy a, a Rune Sword for the upgrade, but... There is actually a really... Really interesting thing that I can buy. In Mostly Harmless. This is already locked the moment I uh, chose Mauritania, so this is really cool. So this Smith guy here has a, a Rapier for us. Ah, there we go. Can't let it go for less than 25,600. Even then, that's a bargain. 
Hell yeah, man. I'm gonna spend the money. Let's go. We just got ourselves a rape here. It is really good. Like, look at the stats on this thing. Like, wow. 44 strength, 45 stab. It's basically a, a rune scimitar. Except I can't really get one easily. But I can get this one easily. And compared to a rune sword of 38 stab and 39 strength, this is a whole max hit higher and way more accuracy. Like, 10... 10% more accuracy. I think we're ready to tackle the vampires. Oh, yo, 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 yo. What's up? There is a magpie implant right in front of us. Holy shit. What we get? Oh, Mystic Gloves. B-I-S Mage Gloves. I'll take it. Oh, it hits a seven, dude. Oh, they are so strong, man. So I unfortunately used half of my food just to kill four and I still have a hundred plus to go. So protection prayers are a must. And I'm going to need the prayers anyway sooner or later. So this is a good time to get it out of the way. So I decided to go back to the implings, grab like 15k GP so I can uh, buy uh, enough mine runes and air runes for fire strikes so I can kill some red dragons because I only need... 20 dragon bones to get to 43 per using ecto functus and yeah i uh went and did that surprisingly uh pretty easy uh, lots of safe spots and stuff so it wasn't that bad at all hmm okay so i use 50 uh casts per kill so at this rate i should be fine this is, uh, should be enough for like 32 kills, I think. Or, yeah, around tw 25 to 30 kills. So, I think we are good. Oh shit, yo, 55 magic. Yes, I can high level Alk. Damn, it felt so wrong low level Alking, dude. I Low level Alk probably like 100, 200 things today. <laughs> uh, it just doesn't feel great. But now we can Alk... In, in, in a proper, you know, proper way. So, this is great. This is great. Okay, alright. 20 Dragon Bones has been achieved, okay? So, it's time to work on some uh, Ecto Functus. Oh, and we have one extra. My man, CCC Kyle. With the plan. Look at that. Look at that, bro. We did it. 43 prayer. I, I had a feeling that was going to be a task. Oh, satisfying, dude. When you don't know for sure, but you just kind of have a feeling. Okay, now I can whoop some vampire ass. God, I can finally whoop some vampire ass. Thank you, man. Thank you. One last thing must be done. I need to make a strength amulet. And I know just how to do it. I have oak planks, tons of oak planks from all the, you know, money making from the eclectics. The goal is... Train all the way to, I think, 40-something. So I can get the tool uh, kits in the construction, you know, workshop. And f with that, I can get myself some uh, jewelry molds. And with the gold bars I got from Electics, again, I can train my uh, crafting. Crafting high enough so that I can make the ruby amulets. Oh my god, this is perfect. Wow, dude. Just on that last build. There we go. Ah, there it is, boys. We got it. Just like that. Wow, we did it. That's awesome, man. We did it. I believe this is 50 crafting, yeah. Alright, without further ado, we will not waste any time. We're going to... Make this amulet right now. Let us freaking do it. Ah, and we get points. 50 points and we imbue this. Boom, amulet of strength. Holy shit, dude. Yo, these vampires, they're not gonna know what's coming, bro. Oh my goodness, dude. This is the dream setup. Unstoppable. This is unstoppable. 54 strength. Well, okay, this is a little awkward, but um, I did get 55 Slayer at some point, a minute ago or something. Yep, 
Oh man, it's crazy. It's crazy, man. I kind of just want to stop doing Slayer for a bit because these guys are just so bad. But yeah, 55 Slayer is done. That means we have uh, Slayer Dart unlocked. Uh, a few things uh, I need to do. Oh, I just finished this really good one here. Uh, 250 Slayer creatures. But yeah, all that's left for barrels, I think, is going to be training range, of course, for Arams. So I'm probably going to have to think about making some prayer potions. So probably going to have to do some herb training. And I definitely want to get tier 3 relic because with tier 3 relic, not only do I get that nice range uh, ability to make my range training really fast and also make the barrels more efficient it also has a passive rate of unique drops going up by two times so that means barrels chest instead of a normal one in 17 for an item is going to be like a one in about an eight and a half so yeah that's gonna be so good gotta get that too thank you guys for watching today's video if you found this video to be enjoyable consider giving a like we also have a friends chat feel free to join that if you want to hang out and also consider subscribing and ring the bell that way you will get all video notifications and if you have amazon prime feel free to subscribe on twitch.tv slash rice cup and you can financially support me for free through amazon prime anyways thanks for watching see you guys later